people have said, my brain made me do it. But I think neuroscientifically, that's always true. It's always my brain that makes me do it. Decision making and thinking is ultimately a mechanical process. It's something that you can see with a brain scanner. It's something that you can influence with a magnetic pulse applied to the brain. Psychopaths' brains are, are very different from healthy brains. The brain is like a muscle. So they basically have less muscle mass in those emotional regions of the brain. Lack of empathy, inability to experience remorse or guilt. We identified and quantified brain impulsivity systems. So your brain was able to tell us, to a greater extent than other measures we had, whether or not you would commit a new crime. He was a normal guy, you know, had a job and a wife uh, and uh, was living a normal life. He was beginning to hoard pornography, uh, including child pornography, and he was arrested. He couldn't control his impulses. He couldn't make that decision to choose right over wrong. There was um, a, a rather large tumor growing off the, uh, the skull over the right eye socket. This lesion, this damage to the brain, was responsible for his behavior. What he needed to conform within the norms of society was to have his tumor removed. The legal system, you know, really took that information to heart and ended up not sentencing him to hundreds of years in prison, uh, but rather, you know, sent him home with treatment. People who make bad decisions are not bad people. Um, they just process information differently and in a way that uh, predisposes them to make bad decisions. Their ability to use information about long-term costs and consequences to modify the value that they place on short-term immediate rewarding behavior is compromised. You're feeling that you are freely deciding what to do and controlling what happens is in some senses an illusion we're able to externally influence a, quote, free choice. So people feel more in control of what goes on when actually they're less in control. When you understand that human behavior is ultimately mechanical, no matter how wide back into your personal upbringing and history you go, it's ultimately going to be just one mechanical process after another.